DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Let's get straight into this. Now, in my previous video on a whole Prodigy and Lakey the Kid beef, I explained how Prodigy was knocked out and robbed by Sherman the Worm, and Prodigy believing that Lakey the Kid had some involvement in the whole situation. Now, what I didn't mention was after the whole altercation that happened at the tunnel, that Lakey and Worm and their guys came back to the hood, and another altercation will go down between Sherm and Big Noid. Now, if you're not familiar with Big Noid, he's another rapper out of Queensbridge, and he's highly affiliated with Mob Deep, and he appeared on every album of theirs up until their G-Unit release for Blood Money. Big Noid was also featured on Mob Deep's hit record for Burn that featured Vita of Murder, Inc. Now, Big Noid signed a Tommy Boy Records in 1993, and over the years, he put out a decent amount of albums and collaborated with artists like Joel Ortiz, 40 Glock, Mob Deep, and Core Mega. Now, according to street legend Sherman the Worm, Mob Deep crew got into it with a family member of his from Jamaica, Queens, so he decided to teach them a lesson and get at them. Now, supposedly, Worm see them in the hood on a bench, and he pulls out on them, and the dudes from Mob Deep camp scatters and yell out he got a gun. Now, Sherman the Worm and Prodigy will see each other once again after that whole situation went down, and there'll be a lot of tension between the two from their past run-ins. Now, supposedly, this situation ended with shots being fired at the truck that Prodigy was in. So it seems like before that whole situation that went down at the tunnel, these two crews had a lot of run-ins with each other. Now, Sherman the Worm will eventually be arrested on a parole violation because supposedly Twin Mother filed a police report on him, and he was on parole at the time. Now, even though this beef was supposed to be left alone because Lakey was trying to bring everybody together, I guess all their past run-ins is where all the hatred came from for Mob Deep that Lakey spoke on. Now, after the whole altercation happened with Mob Deep after they performed at the tunnel, there'd be another situation that go down with Big Noid and Sherman the worm when they got back in their hood now supposedly they seen big noy driving down 21st and they got him to pull over he hopped out to have a conversation with lake now while he was talking to lake Sherman the Worm gets a bear bottle from his homeboy and hits Noid upside the head with the bear bottle and then took his chain now supposedly when Noid got his chain took and it was already a green light on them you get what I'm saying after they took prodigy chain so it was a green light on anybody that ran with them. Now, Prodigy was able to get his chain back because E-Money Bags and Troy reached out to Sherb. Now, Sherb said him and his guys already came to an agreement that if Lakey made that call that Prodigy had to get his chain returned, they was going to do so because he felt what he did was wrong being that he was on Lakey the Kid time and Lakey ain't have nothing to do with it. Now, Lakey the Kid decided that Prodigy should get his chain back and Sherman the Worm said the honorable thing was to give it back, but they don't take nothing and give it back without you paying. So I guess he either wanted to be paid for the cause that was stolen at the tunnel or want to be paid to return the chain. Now, according to Sherman the Worm, Prodigy and Havoc both gave him their numbers, but when he contacted P, he was in the hospital at the time due to his sickle cells. But he did get the run into Havoc at the club, and Havoc basically told him even though it's between him and P, he was going to make sure he'd still be paid. Now, supposedly, Chris Lighty got involved with the whole situation, and he gave Sherm the money he wanted. Now, I'm not sure if Big Noy ever got his chain back, though. But anyway, if y'all want to hear the story in full detail, y'all could go check it out on Gully TV. His interview with Sherm the Worm, he explains everything in full detail. We're going to stay in Queensbridge for a little while. So if y'all feeling these old hip hop stories, tell a friend and tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More exclusive content coming, and I'm out. One.